many people using Outlook Online have seen the sweep button, but they don't know how it can help them keep their inbox clean. I'll explain what sweep is and how to use it today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you how to use Sweep in Outlook.com. Now, an ex explanation of who can use this. If you're using Outlook online, so you go to a web address to access your Outlook, then you can use the Sweep feature. Unfortunately, they don't currently have it in the computer version. So if you have a program on your computer that you open that goes to Outlook, that will not have Sweep. So this is when you access Outlook online. You can be an Outlook.com user, or you can be an Outlook web access user, which might be someone who has Office 365 through their company, but they access their Outlook on a website. So what is the sweep feature or the sweep button in Outlook? It is an option to basically clean up your email, which is why they use sweep and the broom as the icon you can sweep up your inbox and move certain things to certain locations. There are multiple options in there and I will show those to you. The main thing you wanna know is this is when you have a bunch of emails in your inbox and you have big groups of them that could be moved at once to a certain location or even in the future as they come in, they could be moved. This is similar to the rules feature in Outlook. The difference is that sweep will clean up your inbox right now. Rules will often set things up to go in the future. Now there is one of the sweep options that not only cleans up the inbox, but also sets up a rule. And so you'll see that as one of the options. We'll go see what Outlook sweep looks like right now. The way you get to the sweep option is by clicking on an email. And that's either by selecting the bubble here on the left or by just clicking on the email itself. Once we select that, you can see an entire menu of options shows up up here. And what we wanna look at here is the sweep option or the sweep button. When you click on that, here are the options that are available to you. This is very similar to rules, and rules are set up with an if this, then that statement. And this is set up in the same way. If it comes from a certain email address, then take this action. And you can see here, it's got preset actions. That's why they have this as its own feature and they call it sweep because they don't have as many things that you can change here. But this is a very useful tool and has pretty much everything that most people would need. And so when the email comes from this email address, we could move all the messages from the inbox folder into a certain folder. So if it's coming from here, take this action, move all the messages from the inbox folder, move them to, and you can see, we can choose here what folder we would like to choose. And if you have quite a bit that you've used recently, it may show them here, or you can choose move to a different folder to see everything that's available. And you see now it shows me all of my folders that I have. So you can see you even can mark junk email. With these, if it's a company that you know and you, have, you know that you got on their list legitimately, then I would go ahead and unsubscribe rather than doing this because this is something that the computer is having to run in the background. And the less of that you can have going on, the better. So if you can unsubscribe from the things that you just really don't want to get anymore, that's fine. But then if it's a company that you don't know very well or you don't know at all, then you want to do that as junk email. Make sure it knows that that is junk email. Now you do have your option. Let's go back here, right here to send things directly to junk. And you can see there's lots of options here. You can tell it that this is a phishing scam. Um, all those types of things are available here. But if you want to make sure that it always does that, and you're not going to have to hit the junk button ever again, if it comes from this email address, we could have it go straight to the junk. So that's one of your options. And again, that was moved to a different folder and then it gives you all of your options. So that's one of the things that you can do with Sweep. 
move all messages from the current inbox into a certain folder. That's a one-time deal where it does it right now. And then in the future, those same types of emails will come in here. Um, so that's where with the junk email, you may want to use the next one. Move all messages from the inbox folder and any future messages. This is what I talked about in the introduction where it does what we just talked about, moving everything in the inbox into a certain folder, but then it also will create a rule that will run in the future and pull any of those same things into that folder. That's where that junk email, let's say you're getting a spam email and it just isn't picking it up as spam, you can set this up and have it always go to junk email. And remember, if you don't see it in here, just go to move to a different folder and it'll open it up and you'll see junk as an option. So that's the second one, move all messages from the inbox. So we're getting our inbox cleaned up. And at the same time, we're gonna have any future messages go to that same place. And remember, as we're doing this, this is one email address at a time. So we're just talking about for this email address. If it is a certain company, like oftentimes Facebook, you'll get a bunch of different types of emails from them. Unfortunately, each of those comes from a different email address. So you'll need to do this sweep multiple times in order to get all of those. And same thing with other social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, they all have multiple email addresses things come from. And actually some of your health companies may have that all across the board. You'll have a lot of those where you'll have to do multiples to get all of those different emails. So that is this option. It's gonna clean up our inbox. It's going to also set up a rule to clean it up in the future, keep it clean. Our third option is to always keep the latest message and move the rest from the inbox. This is something that might be useful if you have long conversations with specific people. So let's say this was, this email address was for your mother and you have a lot of long email conversations with her. Then you can choose this option to always keep the latest message in what they call a thread to keep the latest message, but then move the rest of them. And then you can choose if you want it to go to deleted or if you wanna create a folder for her or the archive, whichever makes the most sense for you. This is where you're having conversations back and forth with people or companies. And it'll keep the newest and then the rest will move to whatever place you have des designated. Our last option is to always move messages older than 10 days from the inbox folder. This is a great help if you have ads or maybe you get different emails from insurance companies or newsletters, whatever it is for you. And let's say you just don't, you haven't had time to get to those in 10 days. So you can set this up when it comes from that email address, whatever that is, whether it's a company, whether it's a person, and then you can have that automatically go into a folder that you determine if it's older than 10 days. So as I was saying, the ads is a great example here. If you get in an ad, you haven't had time to look at it probably in 10 days, it may not really be worthwhile anyway. So you could have it go to the deleted items. Or if this is a newsletter that you know you're going to want to read in the future, you could create a newsletters folder or a to read folder, something like that. And you can have it go to that. And here you can see you can create a new folder. Let's go through that process. And let's say I want this to go in a to read folder. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit enter. And it automatically selects that one that I just created. So that is another option of how to keep your inbox cleaned up. And once you're done with whatever option you've selected, you can click on OK, and it will automatically do that. So let's look and see. Um, in this case, I was doing this as an example. I want to move all the messages from the inbox. And this time, I'm going to create a new folder called Microsoft instead. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, it looks like maybe I already have a folder like that. You see how this is outlined in red? So let's go check, move to a different folder. 
And there you go. I did already have a Microsoft folder. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click OK. And you can see a bunch of my Microsoft emails just disappeared. And they went over here into my Microsoft folder. So let's go see that right here. And here's all the things that pulled in when I did that sweep. If I had selected the second option to also do this with future emails, they would come in here automatically without even going to the inbox. There's an added layer of what you can do with the sweep. Once you're in a folder and you have an email selected, you can see the sweep is here as well. So we're inside a folder and we could do a sweep. So you can clean out your specific folders in this same way. Now, one thing you want to watch is if you're having it come from the inbox with a sweep and then you're doing something similar, sweeping out of the folder, you might be able to do that directly from the inbox. So think about that. Think about it before you set it up. And an example would be, let's say you're having ads moved into an ads folder after 10 days. Well, if you really wanted them deleted after 10 days, I would do that from the inbox, not from the ads folder. For instance, if you had certain ads that you wanted to go to the ads folder and certain ads that you want to have deleted after 10 days, you would do that separately from the inbox. As an example, let's say you got an email from Macy's and you were having all of those go into your ads folder after 10 days. So you were using this last option here. Well, if you have it put in that folder, you can't then use this again because it's already aged 10 days. So hopefully that makes sense to walk you through. If you're gonna use this for deleting something after 10 days, just do it straight from the inbox. The other option would be if you get that email from Macy's and you want all of those to go into ads so they don't even hit your inbox, you could use the second one, move all messages, and then also any future messages that set up, sets up that rule that we talked about. And then within your ads folder, you could create the always move messages older than 10 days to the deleted items. So that helps you keep your inbox clean, but then it also cleans up your folder if you just never get to checking those emails. So there's different layers to this and you wanna think about that before you start going crazy with it. Uh, maybe sit down and write out the types of things that you might want to do. As you can see, there's a lot of ways the Outlook Sweep can help you clean up your inbox. As a recap, we can move emails from the inbox into a certain folder or to delete it. We can move them and any future messages, which sets up that rule for us. We can always keep the latest message and move all of the other previous messages in a thread or a conversation. And then we can also have it always move things that are 10 days old to a certain location. No matter how you choose to use the sweep, do one thing at a time. If this is overwhelming to you, try one or two and try it on something maybe that's not as important to you, like some ads or a newsletter or something like that. Then if you see that you really like it, then you can start to add more and maybe a little bit more layers to what you're doing. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions in there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can also give the video a thumbs up or share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. And you can click on that to receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.